we have then gathered together in the presence of God to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. A marriage that will last through eternity, a love that will grow more and more each day. Gee, look at us. We are just about to start our lives together. I can hardly believe that we have changed so much during these last few years. It has been a blessing just to watch our relationship grow and deepen ever since we chose to put God in the center. When we first met, I had no clue that we would start dating nearly a year later and would have said, are you crazy if asked about the idea of getting married right out of high school? But gee, I'd be crazy not to marry you now. I know God placed you in my life when he did for so many reasons. I may not even know them all. He knows under no circumstances does he come around this corner. Mm -hmm. I told him no bloody murder, he does not come around this corner. You have been a light in my life before I even realized it. You have always been there for me and listened to all the things I had to say. I'm so thankful to have you as my wife and my best friend. Lastly, G, you mean the world to me. I never could have imagined that I would love someone so much. These things will make my bad days great and my good days memorable. You are truly the love of my life and I can't wait to spend every day with you. I love you, G, and I'll always be right by your side, literally all the time. I love you and I will see you oh so soon. Love with all his heart, Garrett Ferguson. I vow to try my very best to love you every day just as God loves the church, to protect you and our family, to always be by your side and to help you no matter what. I vow to never forget the reasons I fell in love with you. I honor you, to honor you and our commitment together, to not only be your husband, but your best friend. I vow to uphold my responsibilities as the spiritual leader of the home to continue to keep God in the center of our relationship, to cherish you and our memories together, to never get tired of saying I love you, and to I vow to never take for granted this wonderful blessing of getting to be your husband. In our short time together, you have managed to show me a love that I didn't know existed. You came into my life and gave me the strength to con conquer all of my fears and insecurities. And most importantly, I vow to forgive when forgiveness is called for and to worship with you every day. To never let a day go by without praising and thanking God for blessing me so greatly in you. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Young man, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jared Ferguson.
Gracie and Garrett first started dating. Damn. I remember her talking to mom about how awkward her first kiss was. We'll be just fine if I am yours and you are mine. Their whole lives, we prayed that God would give them the perfect mate. And you're an answer to our prayer, Grace. You're an absolute great answer to our prayer. Just be with me. Just be with me. Just be with me. Love you both, and I'm glad that you both found someone that makes you so happy. And I wish you nothing but the best for the rest of your lives together. We can go any place that we want to I don't care if that's too far Take my hand and let's fly away And I look at this new phase of your life that you and Gracie are starting now and the possibilities and the potential, they're limitless. We are free Just be with me Just be with me just be with me